All right, so I figured I'd do a little uh, open box of a uh, box opening of a Super PID uh, controller unit for uh, a CNC router spindle. Um, it's from SuperPID.com, and uh, after doing some research and uh, reading and all kinds of stuff, I figured this is the, this is a must-have if you have a CNC router um, with a single-speed uh, spindle router. Um, because what it does is it maintains an RPM while you're cutting and allows your spindle to go at a lower speed where you couldn't do normally. Um, there's other, there's other uh, voltage regulators that slow down the router, but it, it's still, it's not going to maintain the RPM that you set it for. So I'm doing a little boxing here, but here's my router over there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it up here. Um, if you cut a lot of aluminum or wood, or this is a must-have. So this came from Australia, and I ordered it a little over two weeks ago. So it took about two weeks to get. Um, I don't know if it got any any faster by ordering upgrading the shipping, but um, Val over there is very very helpful, very nice through emails with any questions that you have. A little business card right up top here. And it says, your Super PID has been built and tested with the love by Australian craftsmen. And uh, it's pretty cool. So, packaging I got. I ordered a knob for the, for the RPM control. I ordered the fan. Basically, I ordered everything, you know, from them. Um, here's some switches. Some hardware. Um, some wiring. And some dust... Uh, Hardware for the box. Some packing stuff. This is the enclosure. I assume everything's inside here. So this is the enclosure that the Super PID is going to go in. Let me open this up a little bit here. Um, I was going to make my own, but I figured I'll just buy it. it was, it's a nice box. It's fairly priced well. Packing is all this chair. So the Super PID would just sit inside here. I ordered the blue uh, lettering on black. Um, this is the package with the sensor wires, Super PID unit. It's in a sealed uh, bag here. Pretty excited about this uh, whole unit here. See, there's the wire for the sensor. It's a little wire, little eye. And the way it works is it it reads the revolutions of a of a white mark on your spindle, and it just maintains um, RPM for what you set it. This is the knob control here. You could have it set up for manual control, which I have here. Or you could set it up to have Mach 3 control your speed right within Mach 3. Um, I'm going to have it manual because it's just easier, I think, for me. Uh, but I might do both later on. So it says Super PID2 right here. You could see that. Um, it's got a protective cover over here. Um, fan's going to go up here. Nice, uh, nice little unit. This looks like a fuse inside there but your spindle will hook up here sensor wires in the bottom inputs so the board will sit inside the box like that so and I'll have it mounted up on top of my machine like this so I'm gonna I'm gonna mount it right on the back of my machine right here so I'll have access right right to it and the shorter wiring um, but it'll be a uh, Secured on the back of there, the T-slot. So that'll control the spindle and everything. So that's my uh, so that's my open boxing of the uh, Super PID.
spindle speed controller. So I'll do another video once I get it hooked up. And I'm uh, pretty excited. So, all right, thanks for watching. So, if you look on the PDF here, you can see the uh, Super PID, your knob that controls the RPM, your optical sensor here that goes right to, uh, and what it says is that the optical sensor is pointed at the spot while paint on the spinning router shaft and detects exact RPM at all times. So that would be your router spindle here. And then you connect it right to the output here. Um, so Super PID controls the amount of power sent to the router. So the router always runs at the desired speed, regardless of cutting load. So if you're digging into aluminum or wood, um, normally your router would spin, slow down, sometimes even stop depending on your uh, your passes, your drill or routing passes. So this allows it to speed up. And if you look on here, you control the speed of the of the RPM and it will maintain. So when I do another video, I'll show you. But I've seen other good videos out there for the Super PID. Um, some really good videos from guys out there that show um, the advantages of it. So, but it is a overview of the closed loop speed control. So, so taking the Super PID out of the box, this is how it this is how it comes, or this is how it came to me. Um, it has the optical sensor already attached and the, uh, the RPM control already wired up, attached. I did put the knob on, but that was it. Um, but yeah, it comes with the sensor and the knob switch uh, already on. So Some of the other... Uh, things I got opened up here are the two position switches I think they're 3 amp 250 volt switches nothing special these wire uh, loom seals that go inside the box well, it's probably not the correct term but you put it in there it squeezes up on the wires tightens them up Just give it a tight lock on the wires also another one I got two of those some standoff screws, uh, position, a seal for the box, a little rubber uh, seal that goes around it. And I got the fan. I ordered two ceramic bearing fans. And I also ordered another uh, sensor wire. This is for temperature control. So, the there somewhere in there. But I'm moving along here. So. PID. So far, I got uh, I got my wire coming into my Super PID. This is the uh, AC input, the 110 volts input. Um, I just put it in there for now because I had to drill. The, you have to drill the holes for all your uh, wire inputs. So so far, I've got I've got that one, and I'm going to drill one more for the. Uh, router out or either one it doesn't really matter but um, so then it'll feed to the super PID inside the box so that's where I'm at now I'm gonna go ahead and test out the super PID with the power <clears throat> excuse me I got a 5 volt output 180 milliamp uh, power unit and I got my pot here so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in And you can see it goes through a series of screens. Super PID version 2. Uh, does some testing mains. Um, just some uh, display uh, changes. And now it's on spindle view. Now you can see the pot changes with the knob. So, oh, like I said, I'm using a 5 volt out, which they, what's, what it's supposed to have. They tell you you got to use 5 volt out. And at minimum 100 milliamp. This is 180, so it suffice. But I got the pot uh, moving with the knob here. So testing successfully so far. All right. So here's an update on the next steps here. I got it mounted inside the box. I got my AC main input, my uh, output router here. Um, can see it's pretty clean install um, what's left is I need to drill holes 
or hole for the uh, the pot switch for the uh, router speed RPM set um, and then just uh, drill a hole here and mount it and then I'll probably put an on and off switch in there um, on that as well um, I also have the, the speed sensor the RPM sensor and the temp sensor you can see the temp sensor is the one on there here it's got a flat edge um, and it's it's working also if you look at the temperature on the bottom right there it says 14 I'll put my my finger over it and you'll see it start to warm up 14 17 18 so it's going to keep going higher until it it, it reaches the actual temp so uh, that's the that's the temp sensor and here's the uh, the RPM sensor see me run my finger across you can see the light changing on the uh, the view see that that's just the sensor that you mount near your router and you uh, it senses a uh, a white and black area wherever you put it and that's how it determines the RPM range so that's it so far um, about 90% done alright so I got the box assembled here um, I got the knob on switches on um, everything I haven't I haven't done yet is uh, I haven't put the fan on yet the heat uh, exhaust fan um, this is the power main power button uh, switch for the PID and this is the switch for the uh, router control so I'll just go ahead and turn it on goes through uh, some sequences okay so now it's on here you can see the knob set your RPM now I'll go ahead and just start the uh, router and shut the router off um, I got my uh, temperature and RPM gauge or sensors down here and these are the in and out for the AC main and the router so next uh, video I'll have it uh, installed on the machine you can see that uh, it's all all wired up 